Good morning, everybody, and welcome into the St. John's County Show that's on in the morning. We've got a great show for you today. That was convincing. <laughs> <laughs> Let me try again. We've got a great show for you today. Yay! <laughs> <Woo-hoo>! <laughs> that was also really not convincing. That was way too fake. Oh. That was way too TV announcer, Rod Roddy <laughs> type of thing. Uh, no, it's going to be fun. St. Augustine, man. Realizes he's been raising a coyote for 12 years. In St. Augustine? In St. Augustine. Oh, whoa. Yep. Three. three, 12 years. 12 years. 12 years. He's too stupid to know it. Whoa, you're throwing mud now on the man's name. Oh, yeah. Well, he named it Wiley. (laughs) Well, then that's... (laughs) Nope, even worse name. Really? Oh, no. (laughs) <laughs> so we'll talk about that. Two Jacksonville uh, postal workers indicted for male misconduct. Jacksonville and St. Augustine Trash. postal workers. Oh, boy. I think Terrible. this was my mailman. Great. <laughs> <laughs> I was wondering why my identity kept getting stolen. Really? No. no. Uh, <laughs> St. Augustine to dedicate the, uh, a, a park in memory of someone. That's a terrible tease. Yeah. <laughs> I'm still here. Yeah, I was thinking. I was like, he's still, <laughs> here. still here. I'm still here. They didn't know you were still he's here. He's still here. They forgot about you. <laughs> so they're donating another park. He's on every <laughs> menu in St. Augustine. Yeah, How could really they forget? Is. Yeah, He really is. <laughs> the rumors of my death are greatly exaggerated. <laughs> you and Elvis. <laughs> Who actually said that? I think it was Mark Twain. Uh, something like that, yeah. Uh, we've got a... Oh. We've got a moronic story today about a woman suing Disneyland. I'm sure um, that's never happened. Before. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Sure. They're not prepared for that at all. Yeah. Mm-hmm. No. <laughs> yeah. Right. <laughs> yeah. She says one of the actors permanently injured her. <clears throat> one of the characters. Oh. Okay. Yep. Well, then don't go to the park. God. Well, you don't <sighs> expect somebody to permanently injure you. <laughs> If you get that's too close to the fire, part of the experience. you don't go Maybe camping. Like, don't go to the park like that's part of the experience. But you don't go to a camping and you walk right into the fire pit. You know what I mean? You stay away from the fire a little bit. Okay. Watch the flailing arms. Care- I don't know. Be careful of Donald. Yeah, uh, be careful of Donald. This was not Donald. Uh, 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 uh. Okay, he just wanted to do the Donald Duck impression. But it's so good. Yep. Okay. <laughs> And uh, three teenagers officially charged in the shooting case from last. Mm, Yeah. So we'll talk about all that and more. Good to have you in here with us this morning. Uh, And I will do that right after we tell you about our friends at Bozard Ford Lincoln. Great place down there at 16 and I-95. 76 years in business here in St. Augustine in Northeast Florida. It's a long time. They got a great selection of new and pre-owned vehicles, an amazing service department, and a parts and accessories shop that will absolutely blow your freaking mind. All right. Make sure you grab a 904 burger or one of their many other delicious burgers and options for food down there at Ford's Garage while you're there. They have services from home delivery to company fleet servicing. Your family is their family at Bozard Ford Lincoln, and they are driven to inspire. Options for food? You don't want to say 904 Now Burger anymore? I did say 904 Burger. Did you? Okay. Yeah. Options for food. I, I like, said 904 bar- Burger and their other options. options got for it. Food. I just yes. tuned out at that time. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, it happens to me a lot. People do that. <laughs> That's why I have to yell on this show. Oh. Because I can feel the points when people are tuning me out. <laughs> what? <laughs> All right. <sighs> Also, big shout out to Fidus Roofing, Great Expectations, Realty, and Auction, Chiba Hut Toast, and Sub St. Augie's Pizza, BHF Insurance, Chris Lucero, Bail Bonds, Elise Med Spa, Griffin Service, and BNS Signs, who we'll talk about in a little while. But first, fresh off the weekend, Troy Blevins, Davey Hartzell, and Blake Blevins in the booth. How's it going, guys? Hey, happy Monday. Let's go. Great it's week. I'm ready. Time. Let's do it. Yes. All right. Cl- uh, Blake, how are you, sir? I'm my mic, my bad. Uh, oh, I'm, d- I'm oh. doing all right. Okay. Yeah, yeah. I want some money. Well, what? Hey, he, had, he, had a good, he had a good weekend this okay. weekend. Okay. At the Masters good. and some of his other. Better than Tiger. Oh, yeah. that's good. Mm. 
Oh, better Tiger go back. Yeah, so well? he better get back on the saddle. <laughs> Tiger's looking buff, man. Ooh, right? He's like, Bleh. yeah, I got beefcake. I know. I Tiger at an Orlando Magic game probably 15, maybe 20 years ago. And I was surprised. Dude was jacked. Yeah. I mean, he was jacked. Yeah, this is as big yeah. as I've ever seen. Mm -hmm. Thick. No. Wonder why. It ain't helping his game. <laughs> <laughs> right? Uh, I guess mm, not. Yeah. It's, it's restricted it's the movement maybe a little bit. I don't know. He, he, he made the cut, but he finished last. Yeah, after 60th. Making, after making the cut, he finished last. Yeah. Oh. A little bit too thick. Maybe got to go yeah. uh, Ozempic or something. Sponsored. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, I just don't care about golf almost at all. Oh. Unless it's Happy Gilmore. Yeah. No, I I, I enjoy I enjoy the major. Uh, the Masters. Ma the Masters, but all the majors. Okay. So like uh, all those, I I watch those, and I don't get into any of the other stuff. But. Yeah. Mm. And and uh, the Masters Augusta is just so beautiful. Just I mean, just the entire grounds are incredible. What they do, and Very they do green. it right for television too. Mm. Okay, you can say, oh, that's fake. <laughs> <laughs> you can look at it. It's like it's like the Disney World of uh, of golf. Oh, like, really? Like, like oh, like the trees are all props. Very oh, manicured. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And <laughs> yeah, the, yeah. The um, Sand traps don't even have sand in them. They have like some fiber to make sure it looks good on television. Oh, oh yeah. weird. Yeah. Jeez. Yeah. Didn't know that. Interesting. Yeah. Didn't know that either. But I don't care about golf. Question <laughs> of the day. <laughs> and I still don't. And I still don't. <laughs> nothing to pique my interest. All right. Question of the day. And this is everyone's favorite topic because everybody loves doing laundry. Today no. is National Laundry Day. What is the thing you hate most about doing laundry? Pretty much everything, but I will whittle it down to when I, I sometimes I'll get in a mood, right, mm -hmm. to just get all my stuff done with laundry being included. And then by the end of the day, I lose momentum in that mood mm -hmm. with a load still finished in the laundry, but not taken out and dried. Mm -hmm. So I forget about it, sits there until I remember it, then you got to wash it like twice more. Mm -hmm. To get the you know the the the, the old water smell out. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. So that's my, I guess my biggest gripe was la with laundry is a gripe with myself mm. <laughs> because it's my fault. I know that happens to have the best of us though. Is you just leave it in there. Mine, uh, my question or my uh, answer is. We all have that one spot in the house where, like, you have dried clothes and you just dump them there to, like, keep moving. I don't know if you, like, or you're, like, an instant folder. But, like, you know, you'll get to the folding part. Mine is folding. It just takes forever. Oh, yeah. I just, for, I yeah. was just, I'm like, it's clean. And then it's out of my mind and I move on to the next yeah. one. But, yeah. I have, like, this one small, like, love seat couch in my, like, office area. And I just keep throwing clothes on there. I'm like, you ever yeah. going to get to this? Because yeah, yeah, you yeah. better, you look like a fool. <laughs> yeah. I've got that area. Yeah. Uh, Blake? Oh, I, I I really want to say this, but I'm worried someone might be watching this. Oh, they <laughs> are. All right. She is. All right. Go ahead right. and All say right. it. She's watching. <laughs> okay, okay. It's Sharpening her. Right. It's other people touching my clothes. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, and, and mine goes along with uh, Blake's. Um, mine is somebody leaving their clothes in the dryer okay oh, so i have to touch their clothes you don't like touching other people's clothes uh, no i don't mind touching other people's clothes it's just when you go to do laundry uh -huh. and there's already a load in there yeah when you live with multiple people it's gonna right. happen but it's like you you're already holding clothes and then you get there and it's like <laughs> yeah. And you just drop it on the I floor. I guess that's true. Brian used to hate the way I folded his clothes. I used to get in so much trouble about that. Uh -huh. Don't fold it like that. What are you kidding me? It's going to be more wrinkly. Like all the time. Like, okay, yeah. then you do it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm not a good folder. Yeah. I don't fold properly. I yeah. come from the gap. I mean, we're totally roll, trained to fold. Board right? folding. Yeah. I mean, this, I, I roll my shirts. So oh, yeah, see? I mean, that's right. how we like it, too. We like them rolled. I like, roll, roll, I like roll my, roll my shirts. Roll. It saves so much space. <laughs> it does save space. So... No, but my mine is like you get to the you get to the washer and all of a sudden it's like, oh, okay. Then you gotta drop yours, you gotta put that yeah. over and mm. that's also something I do. Uh, you know, for me it's like well now I can't take these out of the dryer without throwing them in the dryer again for another twenty minutes so I can get all the wrinkles out. So mm -hmm. I gotta do the dryer for twenty minutes. It stalls me on the, putting the washer stuff into the dryer. It's a, yeah. Yeah, it's a mess. Yeah. No. Laundry's laundry's 
not fun. No, it's not. Unless you do it like a conveyor belt. We learned, Women the Laundry Lady, last week, uh, that if you time it out, like at 1 o'clock, you, that is your laundry time. you got to get it done, like the whole mm-hmm. from start to finish. And don't wash the bottom sheet with other clothes. You have to wash that separately. Otherwise, it's like a catch-all, like a, like a testicle oh, it sack. Catches, it catches yeah. up underneath it. Yes. So. I don't think she compared it to that. Well, if you I think about it, it does paint the picture. It just <laughs> catches it all right in there. I mean, it's fine. It's a natural word. Yeah. <laughs> Ball sack is honestly better. Well, it's, it's honestly it's too just straight for me. Better sounding. <laughs> I was trying to be legal in schools. So you can't. No, you can't say that. No. Mm. Health class is what. I was going Do for. you use uh, uh, fabric uh, sheets? In no. The dryer. I have balls. The wool balls. Okay, I was taught we were talking about laundry. <laughs> <laughs> I do though. I have these wool we balls. Ball sack. <laughs> okay, we get it. And you when they start them. peeling, you gotta shave them so uh-huh. that it's all nice and smooth. And then you, yeah, okay, it does I, wonders. I'm not sure what we're okay. talking about. I don't know what we're this talking about. This is laundry about. life. No, where are you guys? No, this is sure. laundry life. I don't know <laughs> where we veered off. No, oh. oh. Facebook ads is so crazy. <laughs> <laughs> and the weird part is, is stardom stats about balls. Oh uh, wow, okay. that's awesome, Harry Ball. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Great everyone's question. Hiring. Everyone for... seems to hate laundry. <laughs> it's now time for some something else people hate. The weather. No, it's great today. Okay. That quick check of the weather. Brought to you by Great Expectations. Realty and auction. They can sell your home, your business, and everything in it. Check them out at geauction.com, gerealty.us. We take it to the booth. With Blake Blevins in our Monday traffic report. This this is the only camera. Oh my God! It's an earthquake. <laughs> what is going on? Another tornado has has, has touched down the wall. God All oh, right, no, we get no. a sliver of roofs. That is the camera for today's traffic. Mm. Yes. Where's Jerry? Where's Jerry? Yeah, you he see looks this. like he's holding the camera. Yeah, Jerry's <laughs> switched jobs on us. Wow, yeah, it's now the cameraman. Jerry had too much coffee today. Jeez, Jerry. Looks like there's some traffic though out there. Looks I'm like seeing some Michael J. Fox to do it. Oh, oh okay, okay, that's a bit too dark, man. <laughs> <laughs> that's not bad. I know it's fine. It's, it's bad. Bad. Parkinson's Awareness Month. Very good. You're very good. That's you true, were... but yeah. <laughs> yes, it is. But we yeah, have him okay. on Thursday. <laughs> yeah. Have you Have you guys seen the documentary? He no. Did? Yeah, it's actually very good. Very good, yeah. Very good. Okay. He's got a great sense of humor about. Yes, it. he does. Right? He yeah. Would, he's laughing watching our show. Yes, yes, Michael J. Fox does watch. Yes, yes. Of course he does. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Thank you, Blake and Mike, for that. Uh, brought to you by Lace Med Spa, ultimate rejuvenation at a Lace Med Spa, where science meets tranquility. World class treatment's going to transport you to a state of pure bliss. They do everything from. Botox to dermal fillers to hydrofacials and everything in between. It's beauty on your terms. They are Elace Med Spa. Check them out today. Elace.com. All right. <clears throat> I was browsing the internet. Browsing. Yes. At about 11 o'clock last night. You're, you're a browser. Mm-mm. I'm a browser. <laughs> Got, I'm one of those people who has lots of tabs open in, at all times. Oh, yeah, I have like 186 well, yeah, open. Yeah, cool. Wow, that's a lot more than me. Well, I just Maybe forget. Like seven. Yeah. My, my brain would blow up. <laughs> <laughs> and I Love hate it. when the computer does a restart and I lose all my tabs, even though I wasn't using most of them. Yeah, I know. During the day anyway. You seen the last six. I know, yeah. Right. yeah. In an hour. <laughs> yeah. So I'm browsing the internet, randomly come across this story about a coyote sighting in Canada. Oh. Huh. Yeah coyote sighting and this guy posts a picture of what uh, he believed was a coyote and put it on reddit there it is look at that coyote out there in canada oh. and everybody in the comments says oh yeah coyote 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 that's definitely a coyote that looks like a dog to me looks like a coyote to me does it really yeah so that i can make my point and sound cooler about making my oh point. my bad okay okay yeah definitely looks like a blend so there's this thing called a koi dog, uh, uh, when because coyotes can mate with dogs. Yeah. Oh yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. They can cross over and mate with dogs. It's very easy. So, but a lot of people in that comment, to prove my point, said, "Nope, that's a pure coyote." 
Okay. I could go with Koi Dog. That's fine. Okay. Looks exactly like my dog. Literally, that is my dog. There's my dog. There's, can we go back to the coyote? Same exact dog. No. Same exact thing. Uh, yes. No. Yeah, oh my God, it's exactly the same. What are you guys talking you about? You see it in the Look nose. Look at the markings. Look at the markings on that dog. It is exactly the, markings, the yeah. same Dog. But look at the nose. It's the too nose, sharp. It's sharper the with the coyote. The reason that nose is sharper is because my dog's got an underbite. Uh -oh. I mean, <laughs> my coyote has an underbite. My coyote <laughs> has an You're underbite. You're officially changing your dog's name to Coyote. Uh. <laughs> <Yes>. Puppy <laughs> That's Coyote. Right. That's right. It is no longer Puppy. Puppy Coyote. It is a coy it's just Coyote. Okay. Its name is Puppy, so you can change its name. That is totally... That is totally... I am... I, I am... Going with, I coyote. am raising a coyote. What about yeah. traits of a coyote? Well, I mean, I'm, did you look at that up there on the internet? Yeah, it's got the bushy tail. Okay, I mean traits, like the, personality traits. With yes, this, it. the personality trait of raising a coyote is when you come in the house, it will run up to you and show you a little bit of affection and then run away. Yeah. And that's what my yeah, dog does. It's a coyote, does. okay. Yep. The, a trait of a coyote is it kills small animals. My dog does that. Does it really? Yes, it does. Good for the dog. Goes wow. after a lot of armadillos. Ridiculous. Yep. <laughs> so you likes to roll in dead things, which my coyote definitely likes to do if she gets the opportunity. You're officially a uh, wild animal trainer. Yes. Oh, so you, you don't have certification to yeah. have that. Yeah. Your yeah. HOA is going to get you. There is no HOA. Uh. Can, <laughs> yeah, that's what's great. No <laughs> HOA. Come get my coyote. <laughs> Okay. Good luck. So, what's your official dog breed? Of a coyote. coyote. Okay. Is he not paying attention? To us? <laughs> I know. <laughs> I am paying attention. I just want to ask, what 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 does a veterinarian say the dog breed is? The veterinarian always looks bewildered when I bring my dog in. <laughs> why are you bringing like, a why coyote? Is, yeah, why are you bringing a coyote in here? I, I'm, 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 what are you doing bringing a coyote in I'm here? rarely Team Pete, but I'm Team Pete on this one. See? Wow, <laughs> most people are in comments, yeah. yeah. That is absolutely, it is the same exact, bring up that coyote again, Blake. Oh. <laughs> I just like showing animal pictures over the last yeah. couple of weeks on this show, I really do. It is the exact same dog as mine. Yeah, I guess you don't have to bring it up. We ran out of time. Yeah, so. <laughs> time has gone. Oh, there's, there's my the coyote. Dog. And I tried to there's take a, the meat. It's hard to tell. <laughs> See, exactly. Tell. Right. I thought that Troy was thought it was a coyote. I thought it was a coyote. Now bring up the picture of the coyote again. That's the exact same thing. And there's puppy. There's puppy. That's right. That's puppy in my backyard. Ugh. Somebody took a picture of it and claimed it was in Vancouver. I'd yeah. love to get the same angle as the coyote, though. I'm trying to see, like, if we got puppy in that same angle. Okay. I have those pictures. Because the ears are back. I mean, that yeah. just looks a little this bit is, more stealth. Why, I'm going to send these pictures to you Blake fold now. My clothes. Okay. Yeah, don't let now me fold your to clothes. I'm going to send these other angle pictures to Blake. Here we go. Yeah. yeah. It's so, very interesting to me because more I'm seeing angles. sharper on the face. Well, yeah, I would kind of agree with you, but not all coyotes look exactly the same, Davey. True, true, mm -hmm. true, yeah. true, true. That's right. Yeah, don't coyote shame. Don't coyote shame. <laughs> all right, here we go. Wonderful. Blake, more angles coming at you. Oh, boy. We're, we are definitively proving this this the morning. Puppy is a coyote. I, I think... am a wild dog tamer. Yes. Oh, no. You know. Puppy well, identifies as a coyote. No, puppy is a coyote that identifies as a dog. Oh. oh yes. Okay. All right. <laughs> yes. <laughs> the facial markings are the same, as you will see uh. evidenced in the new evidence I have provided. So one of the new trends out there, Pete, I don't know if you're aware, is dog DNA testing. Oh, we yeah. can definitely dive into this and get you, uh, all you have to do is swab puppy's mouth for like 30 seconds, we can send it in, and then we'll, it'll come back and we'll find out like, you know, if we're legit or not. That's actually a great idea. Okay. Except I don't want the government having my dog's DNA. True, and it's $80. <laughs> <laughs> and that's the real reason. <laughs> That is the real reason. No so. nonprofit discount on that one. Sorry. That's yeah. right. <laughs> All right. Blake, did you get the new angles here? I still haven't got it yet. Oh. oh that is. Well, we'll come back to it. That's it? Okay. We'll yeah. come back to Good. it. Good. Dog is definitely a coyote. Wow. No, so. Does it howl? It doesn't make any noise. Really? It rarely makes noise. Mm. God, I'm talking. It's a ninja coyote. It is a ninja coyote, which coyotes are. Mm -hmm. yeah. They're ninjas except Quiet. for the reason she doesn't howl or make any noise because she doesn't have a coyote pack with her. Oh, true, true. Yeah. They don't have anything to talk about, right? Well, exactly. Hey. Yeah. yeah. Has nobody to 
speak with in its own language. Mm -hmm. Blue's supposed to be non-barking, but hey, she barks crazy all the dang time. Yeah, Yeah, my dog just doesn't bark. I mean, my coyote just doesn't bark. Uh, Only in her sleep. She only barks in her sleep. That's the only time she makes any noise at all. My when dog's she like, really wants to go outside. They make like wookie and chirping noises all day long. Really? Oh, I, they're talking to me all day long. I have no idea what the hell they're saying. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> all day long. Most of us don't. All right, so there you go. I'm a coyote tamer. Good for you. I'm the coyote whisperer. Nice. That's Here right. we go. Good. Did find her just out in the kind of in the middle of the woods, mm-hmm. not by the road, but oh. by the woods, by a yeah, very was, wooded area. There was a tree there. <laughs> there was a tree there, so technically it's a wild dog. It's wild. That's right. You're old. Okay. All right, moving on. Moving on. We'll come back to that. Blake probably has the pictures, but just doesn't want to prove me right. Mm. I legitimately don't have the photos. You sent to the wrong person. <laughs> Definitely did not. <laughs> did you hit send? <laughs> did you send it to the group chat? Do you? Should I send it to the group chat? Probably. Yeah. Is that the best way to get it to you, Blake? Yeah, well, there's many people on there for checks and balances. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right, we'll send it to the group chat. We'll see what the group just, chat thinks. Just so we can wake up Clay. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to send it to the group chat to wake up Clay. <gasps> Am I supposed to be there? <laughs> What's going on? <laughs> group chat. Oh, yeah, Clay is going to go. I just realized yeah. that yeah, you post, said that as I sent it. Yeah, put yeah he said, Clay. no, just I'm put, sleeping. <laughs> just put post this. <laughs> okay, definitely All got right. it in the group chat. So, Blake, you have no excuse now. Okay, there you go. We will come back to that after we tell you about the three teenagers officially charged in the St. John's County shooting Ew. and chase. They closed down an elementary school Friday. Did you guys hear this? Uh, Southwoods yeah. South was shut down yeah. because of this. St. John's County Sheriff's Office disclosed the identities and booking photos of three individuals involved in a shooting and subsequent police pursuit on Friday. First off, 18-year-old Fitzroy Ellis faces charges of resisting uh, law enforcement without violence alongside a homicide warrant from Georgia. Woo. Wow. Secondly, Devani Small, also 18, charged with grand theft of a motor vehicle and resisting law enforcement without violence. And finally, 18-year-old Travion Washington faces charges of fleeing and eluding law enforcement and resisting without violence. The incident unfolded in the Cypress Lakes subdivision. Couple things happened Friday in the Cypress Lakes subdivision, prompting deputies to respond to a shooting. Upon spotting the suspect in a vehicle leaving the area, law enforcement initiated pursuit. The chase progressed southbound on I-95 and then westbound on State Road 206. Even parts of I-95, I think, were shut down temporarily or their traffic was moving very, very slowly in that area. Um, Subsequently, all five suspects exited the vehicle after the crash at State Road 206 and County Road 305. And they fled, prompting a hard lockdown of the nearby Southwoods Elementary School. This was a scary moment for parents. I had a lot of parents sending Mm. me messages. What's going on? Why are my kids locked down? Even the bus drivers were asked to go inside. With the utilization of canine units, drones, and aviation support. Oh, boy. Jerry. (laughs) <laughs> not Jerry. No, not Jerry. We need, uh, we need a smooth operator. Yeah, enough. right. Yeah. Law enforcement successfully apprehended all suspects. Notably, one individual sustained injuries from a canine encounter. Probably good. Probably a coyote. <laughs> Possibly. 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 Mm-hmm. While another required airlifting to a hospital due to crash-related injuries. Uh, I think that may, uh, well, I don't know if that was one of the suspects. I heard that somebody else involved in the crash was pretty badly banged up as well. And uh, investigators revealed the suspect's origins from Georgia, operating a stolen vehicle containing three firearms, potentially linked to additional crimes, probably. Um, Fitzroy Ellis, among the suspect, is wanted for murder. Jeez. The shooting victim is anticipated to recover, although he is uncooperative with detectives. <laughs> wow, there was what, something going on there. What if for murder? <laughs> <laughs> no, this was the victim. Oh, the victim The victim was, of the shooting. Uh, uncooperative uh, with detectives. So mm, there was something yeah, going on fun. there that he doesn't even want to talk about. Yeah, a little fishy. Yeah. 
Sheriff Rob Hardwick emphasized the county's commitment to apprehending criminals utilizing advanced technology and skilled law enforcement personnel. That's the truth. Great work. Great work. Yeah, it was a really scary situation, man. It was uh, it went on for about at least an hour that the school was locked down. So that's always scary for parents, especially in elementary school, especially when you don't have all the information right away. Um <clears throat> So, but uh, from what I do understand, from what I heard from parents is that, you know, not only was the St. John's County Sheriff's Office, not only did they lock down the school, but they had about nine sheriff's deputies there that showed up on campus to make sure nobody was getting into that school yeah. randomly, which was comforting. Your heart goes in your mouth parents. when you like report things like that because you just never know what's going on. Oh, yeah. Oh, when I the know. school's on lockdown, especially a beloved like elementary school like Southwoods, you just get so nervous. Yeah. Yeah, man. But luckily, everything, uh, it all ended as good as it could have possibly ended out there. So that's always good to report. Back to my coyote. All right. Blake, do you have the pictures? Yes, I, I do have the pictures. <sighs> right, look, so, so this, this is one of them that... That's the coyote's face? Yep, that that's is... puppy. That's the coyote's that's puppy. face. puppy. Okay. That's puppy. Do you seriously think that this, the face of the coyote looks like your puppy's face. Yes, exactly. How? Show the, show the Literally other... exactly the same markings. Show the other picture. Hold on, give me one Show that. the puppy picture face. It's a rare... Puppy face picture. It's a very rare breed of coyote with really short legs. <laughs> Puppy's a beautiful dog. Puppy is a beautiful coyote. Beautiful dog. Not, yeah, not the tallest coyote you. I've seen. Not, no. Very small. There you go. Look at that. Same face. Wow. Where, where was the one of him standing? There, there is another one. There is another one of puppy standing. Okay, I, I, I can pull it up. I can pull it up. Let's see it. Well, he's, he's Puppy's got both. the same markings. No, same he does not. Dude, Blake, same exact markings. Why are you arguing with him about his own dog? Literally, literally, he lives with his own dog. It's the with same. Dog. It's the white. guy's ears look bigger than this. No. It's white on the show, legs, show, going up there. Show it's the one orange of on standing. the back legs. It's the bushy black tail with the coyote colors. The tail is, yeah, selling me here. The tail, the tail is what's is really, definitely... Something to write home about. It's very wild, very savage yes, tale. Very yeah. Wild. There you go. Exactly, Dave. Yes. Very wild, savage tale. He was found in the wilderness. Found yeah. in the wilderness by yeah. a tree. Yeah. Yep. Practic you know, it was just a very short breed of coyote. Well, coyotes aren't always that big. Oh, okay. Not always that big. I don't know what you're trying to... I hope you win. I just... I hope you win. <laughs> <laughs> I'm really going in hard on you this You won. Cell. There it is. The winner I is Pete Melfi, coyote, coyote specialist. I want to be a coyote <laughs> tamer, a coyote whisperer, if you will. So All anybody right. out there? Here. There's puppy. There puppy. Is. There's standing puppy. Does that? Are you absolutely sure <laughs> that that looks like the coyote in Vancouver, British Columbia? Literally, exactly. Put up the other yeah. picture of the coyote, Blake. Put up the other picture Blake, of the coyote I, walking. I, I don't understand why you're giving so much pushback on this. Me neither. Yeah, I mean, Blake really doesn't want me to have a coyote. Very adamant. Maybe maybe he thinks you're going to get in trouble or something. Oh, maybe, maybe he's trying to protect yeah. you. Yeah. Maybe. Yeah. yeah. Not going to get in trouble. Yeah. Just trying okay, to provide Blake, thank you. Just trying to provide entertainment for this boring show. <laughs> oh, that's oh. rude, Blake. He doesn't want to get paid this week. No. Yeah, oh, is no. that what I heard? Wow, definitely. Come on, yeah. Good luck, Flagler <laughs> good College. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Go to the softball game. Good job. <laughs> now you know why Clay doesn't talk a lot, Blake. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> so just the same for you, <laughs> boy. Did you find that other picture, Blake? Yeah, he put it up. Yeah, I put it up. He, he, had, he had it up there. Same markings. Same markings. Coyote puppy. Coyote gate. All right. Is, it is, is coyote is, gate. Did, are, <laughs> yeah. are coyote, are they called pups or do they have a special name? Like, hey, I know certain. I think, I think they're coyote pups. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yep. So it all still makes sense. Makes sense. I've been raising a coyote for 12 years. I don't care what anybody says. Well, all dogs are descendants of wolves. I mean, that's no secret. That's yeah. definitely, yeah. that's real. Yeah. My dog looks like a dog wolf. Definitely. All right. Coyote. Beautiful, Mark. Coyote. Coyote. Yeah. 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 That's what you meant to say. Yeah. <laughs> I know what I've got. <laughs> all right. 
I don't have all my mail. Maybe. Oh, wow. Jacksonville and St. Augustine USPS workers indicted for mail misconduct. Mm -hmm. You would never know. <laughs> you would never know. No, no you personally you wouldn't know. Wouldn't yeah. Check your mail. How, many, how often do you check your mail? United what? States Attorney Roger B. Hamburg has announced indictments against Pogel postal workers Austin Engler and Teron Haywood Sr. for alleged misconduct involving, involving mail delivery. Both employed with the United States Postal Service, they face charges of destruction or delay of mail. Happens to me all the time which carries a maximum penalty of five years in prison. Mm -hmm. I mean, one of these was probably our mail person here at the studio. Makes sense. We just don't get mail here. Right. But we need to tell the bill collectors, listen, we didn't get it. <clears throat> yeah, that's right. <laughs> There's a box down. You never went to that box. Oh, is that where it is? Yes, yeah. I know. Oh, okay. I know where the box is. <laughs> <laughs> I've been putting trash in that box for years. Jeez. <laughs> Additionally, Duckworth from Jacksonville stands accused of embezzling items from the mail, including a retail store gift card and a bracelet. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, he could face up to five years in federal prison if convicted. Engler is 26 from St. Augustine. Uh, they both face charges of destruction or delay of mail during their employment as Rural carrier assistance. Mm. Anything on that States bracelet? Postal Whether it was like David Yerman or something special? Must have been. Yeah, I don't know. I have no idea. That gets scary. It would really suck if it was just like a $10 bracelet that he got. Uh, and then you're going to do five, five years. years. Right, <laughs> yeah. yeah. Right, yeah. good call. I mean, it'd be, it'd be fitting, but it'd really suck for him. Yeah. Well, if they know he's got it, then it's worth zero to him. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, true. It doesn't matter if it's $10 yeah. or $10,000. Uh, let's see. Each could face up to five years in federal prison if convicted. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. That's Maybe the big prison. Mail. Right? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Anything after a year, you go to prison. But they have a really the nice... of it's just jail. Really nice spa there. Do they really? Oh. Yeah. Huh. <laughs> okay. Did they hire say so. <laughs> <laughs> it's a chair, and they put uh, wet cloth on your head, yeah, and then yeah. it heats up, and then, and then they shave your you head. You go into a place of meditation forever. That's nice. Yeah. Added walls. You get, you get mm -hmm. to be secluded. <laughs> right. Right. From human life. I'm watching some show on Netflix. It's like a documentary inside of a jail. It's called like Unlocked or something. Oh, it's yeah? brand new. I saw, I saw the trailer for it's it. It's interesting. Okay. It's was... actually because the warden was like, instead of keeping the, everybody on lockdown 23 23 hours a day and you get one hour to get out. He's like, I'm going to leave the doors open, but you've got to act, you've got to act like a good community and steward each other and, and like mentor. And, you know, yeah. it's, or, there's a lot of conflict. You're going to lose the, privilege. right. Yeah. yeah. I, I, I haven't watched an episode, but I, I, I scrolled across it. I was like, okay, that one looks interesting. But it was interesting this weekend. Okay. I, a little okay. bit. I watched a little bit of it. But yeah. Okay. All right. Hmm. Uh, I don't yeah. know. Yeah. The right. jails. Well, these guys might end up on your show soon. Okay. <laughs> they might be celebrity guest appearances. Oh, great. The bracelet guys. <laughs> yeah. Pretty sure they're the, those white collar ones where, where there's like a a little fence, that a chain link fence type prison. Oh, it's one? not yeah. as a, uh, yeah. yeah. Oh, like a minimum security? Yeah. 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 I've heard of that too. Where celebrities go. Right. Yeah. yeah. For like 18 days or something. It's just like an electric fence. They put a dog collar around there. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, they're like, here, hold this air tag. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, right. You're outside the zone. <laughs> hold this air tag. <laughs> you get an alert on your iPhone 15. Oh, that you was funny. <laughs> right. Oh, how fancy. Mildred, you're gardening too far outside the restricted area. Come on back now, little doggies. Come on. The coyote's going to get you. Yeah. <laughs> Don't make me send my coyote. <laughs> Jen Jemshock, club fed. Mm -hmm. Club fed? <laughs> yeah, instead of club med, club oh, fed. Oh, there you go. Yeah. Cool. It's... Time for the gas money gas report. Oh, Woo! man. Yeah. Not good, uh, Troy. This is yeah. not good up there. Uh, tell us where you're seeing great prices for gas. We would definitely appreciate it hmm. in the comments. Sitco at 1099 South Ponce. Their cash price is 337 this morning. The Sunoco at 2199 North Ponce, Leon Boulevard. 
reported at 345 this morning. That's their cash price. The Shell at 146 King is also at 345. Same with the Sunoco at 450 South Ponds. Your Circle K at 4564 US 1 North is at 349. Same with the Shell at 2350 North Ponds. The gates a little cheaper than they were last week. That's mm. good. At uh, 351 out there on Mizell Road. And then the Circle K on 207 is also at 351 this morning. <laughs> Got anything from Tim? I saw those gas emojis yes. from him early. Yes, Tim? but two times he posted. That was yeah, very three, nice. 338 at Wawa and 319 at Costco. Okay, Ooh, Costco. Okay. A lot less. Thank God for Costco. They're only saving grace paid, right I now. I paid 343 yesterday. Ooh. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Chris Lucero going to get you out of jail. Give Chris Lucero bail bonds a call. If you end up in the Hardwick Hotel for some reason, uh, he can get you out. He's available 24-7 to provide fast and reliable bail services. Easiest number in the game to remember. You cannot forget it. Even if you don't have a phone book in your jail cell calling area. Mm-hmm. 904-822-BAIL. 904-822-2245. Live music happening today and tonight as well. we got Jim Lamb at the Milltop Tavern at noon. Reggie Starrett at Tradewinds at 1 o'clock. Uh, Johnny Lawrence, Pierre's Pub at 1. Josh Tennessee Worthy at the Milltop at 4.30. Mark Hart, Trade Winds, 5. Sam Pacetti, Prohibition Kitchen at 6. Joe Downing, Salt Life at 6 p.m. Stu Weaver, Harry's at 6. Jim Johnston, Shayla Moore, 7 oh, p.m. Oh, very nice. Burn Unit, Casa de Vino, 57 at 7. And Josh Tennessee Worthy at the Mill Top at 9. Of course, that comes to us from Griffin Service, where your home's comfort is their top priority. They do AC, plumbing, electrical services, and unique offerings like standby generators, water softeners, and gas work. They really do it all. You can experience fast, friendly, and affordable service seven days a week. Give them a call, 904-500-2653, or visit griffinservice.com and see the Grifferents. We've got a woman suing Disneyland, claiming that... Anybody want to take a guess on which character permanently injured her? Goofy. Mm-hmm. Oh. I'm going many, many mouths. Okay, Blake can't answer because he yeah he's been, the one he's been put banned. this in show prep. No, okay. he was the one who put this in show prep. Oh, yeah. <laughs> he does. Uh, I'll tell you which one he was right. One he was right. And you guys want to start the betting? No, all mm-hmm. right. One quarter. Okay. That's all I got. There you yeah. go. My axe day. Oof. Woo. Yeah. Oh, no. You have to bring that up. I'm getting yeah. smacked around now, bro. Uh, bro. I'm actually feeling good about it this year. I didn't make any money last year. (laughs) (laughs) It does feel good around this time of year to not have made any money. All right. Finest Roofing. Mm. Your local go-to for 15 years with all their employees living right here in St. John's County. They're master elite roofers, which means they can give you warranties that nobody else in the business can touch here in St. John's County. They love our community and they love you. So you are in good hands with Fidus Roofing. 904 roof They do pavers and gutters. Yeah. All right. We got a moronic Monday story. Woman suing Disneyland Resort claiming Goofy. Oh, oh. I owe you a quarter. I yep. didn't, didn't mean to touch you. <laughs> <laughs> it was just a booby. I didn't mean to kick you in the face. Uh, oh, <laughs> <no>. <laughs> My foot's a little bigger than I thought. <laughs> I can't believe it fit up there. (laughs) (laughs) Says he permanently injured her. Woman suing Disneyland in California. Uh, Alleging severe injuries after a cast member dressed as Goofy fell on her. (laughs) (laughs) Missed the triple axle. At least he was kind of living up to the name and reputation of Goofy. You can't Uh. expect Goofy to fall. Katrina Griffin Uh visited Disney's California Adventure Park on April 3rd with her daughter. The lawsuit claims that as Griffin bent over to tie her daughter's shoes, the goofy cast member walked directly into her, causing her to fall on the cement. (laughs) That's what dogs do when you bend over. (laughs) (laughs) No? No. Goofy's actually a coyote. Yeah. I was yeah, waiting for ears, it. Ears give him away. I was okay. waiting. That tail, no, that was a little puny. I don't no, know. No, it's not, not bushy like. That's right. <laughs> Cast members' alleged fall into Griffin resulted in, quote, severe traumatic, debilitating, and permanent injury. Okay. Oh, I mean, accidents happen. <laughs> Are we, uh, it's a big 
foam filled suit. Yeah, so there's cushion there. Like mm. this, the, the goofy suit is not made of cement. Right. Uh, when are we separating from ac- accident from opportunity here? That's yeah. exactly it. Yeah, that's that's really it. These I'm California gonna be Katrina. People, these California people love to be traumatized. Yeah, because they, they can't they afford to live there. Court. What else are they gonna do? Maybe that's it. They can't afford it. I'm gonna be famous. <laughs> <laughs> well, the suit didn't specify Griffin's injuries. It doesn't. Because there was an injury. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, stupidity is not an injury. <laughs> no. <laughs> Great. I feel better already. <laughs> It claims she required significant medical care and suffered emotional pain and suffering. Oh, wow. Suck it up. Oh, poor America. thing. Griffin is suing Disneyland Resort, the person in the Goofy costume, and the cast member who worked as Goofy's handler. He has, what is he, on a leash? Mm-hmm. He's just walking around Goofy on yeah. a damn leash. The handler's there to keep the grubby kid's hands off of the suit. Oh, yeah. All right, that was like go. an s and subculture. I've seen that <laughs> before. Yeah, I've right? seen it in California. Yeah. Oh, okay. Very strange out there. Yeah, yeah. There, there was furries on St. George Street right? and Harry Krishna's this weekend oh. at the same time. It's like Thanksgiving. Like were, really? Yo, oh, it was, it was a scene. The yeah, furries the, like to hang out on on down in downtown St. Yeah. The furries, that's the what furry. they're called, right? Yeah. yeah. The, fur, the, furries. the furries were there. That's big in high school now. Being a furry. Have you ever? Yeah. Did you ever date a furry? I've no. Never, no. Well, that didn't exist when I was a kid. Oh, okay, okay. Furries just are a newer thing. It's a thing. Yeah. Yeah. No, I don't know how I feel. Okay. I don't know what they do. No, but I'm like, I, look, if your kid, if your kid is a furry, why don't you feed it out of a dog bowl at the house? They do. Yeah. You don't get to yeah. eat at the table. You eat out of the dog right. bowl in the room. Yeah. Right. I heard they do. That's crazy. Goony goo goo. I don't know. It's a very Aunt interesting Buddy was a furry. culture. She was a goony goo goo. What well, really? Yeah. Oh. What is that real? <laughs> <laughs> it's an Eddie Murphy skit. Oh, okay. All right. <laughs> Give Aunt Bunny a kiss. No. <laughs> <laughs> The case management conference is scheduled for September 4th, 904. Oh. Disney, Disneyland Resort did not respond to KTLA's request for comments. They can't be bothered. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. All right. U.S. Army Corps of Engineers Jacksonville and the city of St. Augustine are hosting a public workshop for Back Bay Feasibility Studies. Sounds exciting, but you should still probably go. Mm. (laughs) The U.S. Army Corps of Engineers, Jacksonville District, along with the City of St. Augustine, will host a public workshop for the St. Augustine Back Bay Coastal Storm Risk Management Feasibility Study. Woo! Yeah. (sighs) The workshop's scheduled for April 4th, 2024, from 6 p.m. to 8 p.m. at the Willie Gallimore Recreation Center. I like the Willie Gallimore Center. Very nice. Good center. The purpose of the event is to provide updates on the study's progress since October and its current status. Attendees will hear presentations from the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers and city representatives covering engineering, environmental, and economic aspects relevant to the 17 neighborhoods and three major model reaches being considered. Wow. Blake thinks this show's boring. <laughs> <laughs> we can send him there to report I mean, that he put live. most of these stories together. Yeah. I, don't know what he's about. I was going to say. I was like, oh. <laughs> Give us some more exciting content. This please. is something here. Hey, Willie. So you had me at Willie Gallimore. <laughs> <laughs> Bring your own water to that meeting. You might need to be hydrated. Yes. Um, so after the presentations, there will be an open forum workshop session where the public can share concerns and suggestions for addressing flooding in the area. We've been doing this for a long time. Mm. For those unable to attend in person, the workshop will be accessible via WebEx or by phone. Fix the flappers. That's all we have to do, right? I mean, that's the answer. Why aren't we fixing flappers? Fix the flappers. <laughs> Flapper fixes. Yeah. All interested individuals are welcome to attend. There's no RSVP required. <laughs> they don't need a head count. Yeah. There's no charcuterie board at this one. They don't yeah. need the head count. <laughs> Pretty sure 20 people or less will be there. Additional information can be found on the study webpage. I'm sure you can access that from the City of St. Augustine's webpage. Um, so there you go. Again, not the most exciting thing in the world, but probably something that's important to show up and voice your opinion. Yeah, for definitely. Sure. It's something that... If you experience flooding, like we expect Troy to be there. Mm-hmm. Mm. Plaguing the streets. Sounds exciting. You've got to set a good example for the rest of us, Troy. Yep, I'll be there. Flapper that lobbyist. That's a lie. Yeah. <laughs> <All right. laughs> One more here. St. Augustine dedicating Harbor Master Park in memory of... 
First Harbor Master of the First Harbor Master, I guess. Oh, okay. Yeah. This is happening April 25th, City of St. Augustine, preparing to honor the memory of its inaugural Harbor Master, mm. Sam R. Odkiewicz. Odkiewicz. Odd A. A D U K I E W I C Z. Adukowitz. Aduk- nah, don't li- don't try dyslexic yeah. guy. Yeah. A Duke with ah, that's probably closer than where I am. We have yeah, a Duke Wits in town. We yeah, have a lot. That's of, we have, I'm thinking that's what it is. We have a big Duke Wits family in town. No Go ahead, Harbor Master. I'm looking it, it up. <laughs> All right. Corrected by the dyslexic guy. That's oh, isn't that fun? I feel special on this yeah. Monday. With the dedication of Harbor Master Park at the Municipal Marina, scheduled that's for right. Tuesday, yeah. April 25th at 10 a.m. The ceremony will unveil the park sign, officially naming the green space in front of the St. Augustine Marina as the Harbor Master Park dedicated in memory of Sam. A Dukowitz. Boom. Yeah. We call him Duke. Yeah, Duke's there. Now, Commissioner Cynthia Garris initiated the request. Hey! Yeah. Uh, to name the space adjacent to the marina in, uh, as Sam's Park in April 2023 after extensive deliberation. Did we really have to extensively deliberate? We well, just said yes. Yeah. Involving public input and committee recommendations, the city commission unanimously voted on the name of the park on May 22nd, 2023. Uh, Sam dedicated 15 years of service as the harbor master, joining the city of St. Augustine in 2006. Retired in 2021. The first harbor master was only in 2006. Mm. Mm. Okay. Yeah. I guess the first official harbor master, maybe? He probably set up the whole thing and, like, kind of had a lot to do with how it's structured and all that. So, yeah. Integral part. Wow. Yeah. Retired in 2021. His passing in January of 2023 was deeply felt within the community. Yet his legacy of kindness and dedication endures. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Dedication of the harbor master park stands as a poignant tribute to his service and the positive impact that he had on his colleagues at the city. I know the current Harbor Master, great guy, uh, Eric Malden. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. Great dude. Grew up playing basketball with him. Dude can shoot. Dude that can is shoot your basketball. That was your networking business-to-business moment. That was like your... Basketball. Yeah, that's yeah. where you met everybody. Uh, that is That definitely is. Cool. Met a lot of people playing basketball in this town. A lot of people who don't consider me good at basketball. Really? Oh, yeah. Oh. I was not that good. I was not that good. I didn't. I I wasn't always the last pick. Mm. Sometimes I was the last pick, but usually I was picked before last. I was definitely last, but I was okay with it. Well, you had the height too. You well, I would. Height. Yeah, but I would make the basket in the wrong mm. side. It was. You know what I mean? That's like a tough thing to do. Not good. Yeah. It's not smart. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Play defense, like yeah. Oh, no one's coming after me. I'll go over here. Yeah. <laughs> All right, Troy, how do you want to check the comments today? I'm going to march through the many mentions of followers and friends. All right. As you do that, I will mention our friends at Bates, Ute, and Floyd. They set the standard that your home is more than a house. It's where your memories are made, and they provide peace of mind and insurance to protect your biggest investments. Having a reliable local insurance agency like Bates, Ute, and Floyd with over 40 years' experience in homeowners insurance, auto, commercial, and benefits can be valuable in navigating the unpredictable insurance market. Christy Lawrence and readily available at their St. Augustine office, conveniently located right across from Flagler Hospital. She'll give you a complimentary policy review, which is a great service if you're looking to make sure your insurance coverage is up to date and suitable for your needs. Give her a call, 904-794-5455. Or visit Bates, Ute, and Floyd at 165 South Park, Suite C. And then our great friends at BNS Signs. Oh, man, they do all, all kinds of signs, all kinds of stickers, all kinds of banners. From yard signs to Auburn University's uh, billboards out there. Not billboards, they're stadiums. Yeah, it was awesome. Yeah, it's great. They did the same for the Jacksonville Jumbo Shrimp. And uh, that, that looks great. I see that in, in pictures that Bobby posts on social media all the time. Mm-hmm. Um, great looking signage out there. And they can do all that from the big stuff down to the littlest stickers. Whatever you need, BNS Signs has got it under control. And they really do do it the best. Mm-hmm. They yep. do a, an amazing job. They've been doing that since 1967. They know what they're doing. Visit them at bnssigns.com or call 904-824-3323. What you got, Troy? 
All right. Uh, so thank you, Nicole and Jennifer, for the stars. Thank Happy you. birthday to Kendall. Hey! Happy birthday, Kendall. That's right. All right. And uh, someone gave a suggestion uh, to make sure uh, uh, your your puppy. My coyote. Is a coyote. Uh-huh. He says to get a roadrunner and see how he reacts. Okay. Let oh, wow. Both loose. And, the, uh, and if he catches it. He's not, not a coyote. coyote. Not a coyote. Yeah, yeah, true. All right. All right. Um, and as far as the question of the day, people said putting the clothes away. Is, yeah. Is the yeah. Most not a fun time. Part. It's not yeah, a fun time for anybody. Yeah. All right. Stoidum stat. Stoidum stat. On this day, 1947, uh, a great man. Uh, everybody knows his name. He actually spoke here in St. Augustine during the Civil Rights. Uh, Jackie Robinson oh. uh, became the first uh, black baseball player in the modern era. All right, and the reason you have to say it that way is because they were black players up until 1884. Uh, one of the most notable, and the last one was uh, Moses Fleetwood Walker. Um, and the story goes that uh, he was coming coming to play in Richmond. And uh, the city of Richmond kind of put a mob together, and that ended black players from 1884 to uh, 1947. Wow. And, and Jackie Robinson broke that color barrier. But, I mean, just a, a phenomenal uh, man, uh, you know, of the St. Augustine Four. He invited uh, two of the young ladies that were uh, – arrested of the St. Augustine Four up to his house in New York mm -hmm. uh, for uh, – Four sport athlete at UCLA. Mm. Um, he actually was discharged from the army, honorably discharged from the army because of some of his uh, uh, pushback that he had against some racial stuff within the army. Huh. Um, you know, and he he was just the right man at the right time to to break the color barrier. Like the second second person, also great baseball player, Larry Doby, but no one knows his name. Mm -hmm. Uh, he he played in the American League. Also, should both of them are in the Hall of Fame. So wow. But Jackie Robinson Day today in Major League Baseball, everyone wears the number forty two, and it's the only number that's uh, retired by every single team. Oh wow! I, like I didn't know that. That's a great story, I'm stat. Yeah. So brought to you by a great pizza place, Saint Augie's Pizza, right there in between Riberia and M L King. Great pizza out there. You got to get a slice tomorrow. One of us will probably see you there. Plugs, Troy. Uh, everyone, just have a great week. We're starting off the week. I started off right. All right. Starting off right with Stoida. We got Task Force Hydro One doing a profile today at 3 o'clock p.m. Let's see what they're all about. All right. Blake? Uh, 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 April 27th, Dave Barnett Day at, uh, 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 at Drisdale Field at, at the Flagler Athletic Complex. Okay. There you go. And uh, download the 904 Now app. And yeah, talk to you soon. <laughs> Have a great Bye. day.